It's not very often that I come across a tool in which I think I could probably integrate into my everyday life as a UI UX designer, but today I've actually found a tool I think might become a part of my regular workflow, and it is called Humint. Humint.com, H-U-E-M-I-N-T.com, and that's the tool, the color tool, that we're going to be taking a look at in this video. I'm gonna show you how to use it, although it's very simple, although there's a bunch of really cool options, and the best thing about it is it shows you these uh, potential color schemes in the context of real user interfaces, and just one click, everything changes. I think it's awesome. Make sure to subscribe, and let's get started. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably wanna be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship, where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. All right, so let's check this out. Humint.com, H-U-E-M-I-N-T.com. That's where you wanna go. They have a uh, interesting little landing page. I'm not a fan of it just because I would prefer not have to click launch every time I wanna get to it. No big deal though. And here we go. So uh, by default, they stick you on the brand intersection uh, page right here and you can see this toolbar uh, and we're going to go over the different areas you know that comprise of this color app um, and so under here they have a, a brand section and it's just going to um, show you the uh, a potential brand um, we're in intersection mode and that's where the colors kind of overlap and with all of these examples uh, you're going to click generate essentially in order to create your color scheme so uh, I'll click generate right here um, and it's just gonna give you a bunch of, they're not random, all right? There is actually a logic applied to this, and you could see the contrast of most of these and in, in the color choices that it's choosing for most of them are actually pretty nice. So it's not random. Uh, if you come over here to this section, uh, right there, um, we'll see that we have three different modes, uh, generation mode, so we have a transformer, a diffusion model and random. So random is the one you would choose if you're gonna see truly random color combinations, but transformer and diffusion give you slightly different, more appealing results. Um, you can play around with that yourselves. Um, and so, yeah, uh, this is all really cool. Um, you could choose maybe if you just want one color, uh, just to get uh, ideas for, you know, a, a identity, for a, a visual identity uh, color selection. Very simple, um, but the one I'm most interested in for this tutorial, or this video rather, is the website section. Um, you're going to see, uh, if you leave it on the transformer or diffusion model, uh, the color choices that it creates are really you know, pretty solid, and it's just at the click of a button. So uh, if we go through these, we'll see that some of them differ a lot from each other, some are just slight variations. Um, some of them are not going to be perfect. Like for instance, like we're, see where it says next. Like you clearly don't want to use that. Um, and, and of course, use your 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 subjective you know preferences, your own decision making for some of these. Like you could still use this is a very good uh, color scheme overall, uh, except for that little next button, which you know that's not a deal breaker. You can always fix that. I would just make that next uh, text you know like this darker color right here. Um, but look, at some of these are very unique actual color schemes that could actually work in the context of a real app. This would be pretty unique, I would say. I really don't see many websites using this type of color scheme. And that's why I think this tool is so cool because I uh, these are these appear to be really quite random. They're not like a pre-selected uh, scheme or theme uh, that they've created in a back end or somewhere where it's just pulling these out randomly. You can click on there on these and pretty much generate uh, so many different ideas like this one um, to your heart's content and do it for as long as you want. Um, of course, we also have the monochrome approach. Now monochrome doesn't mean, by the way, a little color theory, it doesn't mean just black or white. It just means one hue versus something else. Uh, so it can be colored. So for instance, right here, we have two colors and we just have different shades of those colors. Uh, we have you know this yellow and then we have this blue in the background. 
Uh, so overall, I mean, this is really cool. I, I have to say, I'm very impressed by this. Uh, it's really fun just to sit here and play around and just look at all the different options you have when it comes to colors because a lot of times if we're just kind of relying on ourselves and our own intuition uh, we kind of just fall back on the same color schemes that we personally prefer but using a tool like this can really open up I uh, you know different possibilities for your next project so of course with one accent color this one I really don't like uh, some of them they're not going to you know be perfect out of the box what's two accent colors all right, so now we have two different colors. Um, so really, it's, it ends up being three. And just remember to scroll down just to see how the, these colors work in the, in the context of different uh, layouts and such. Uh, you also have a gradient section over here where it can help you choose uh, and create gradients. So they, sh they, they show it in a different context of, uh, you know, this is a, a, a true gradient sort of illustration here. Um, solid colors as well, the gradient itself, and then of course down here we can grab the colors. Now, of course, with all of these uh, examples, like if we go back to magazine up here, yeah, uh, you have all the colors that are associated with the actual um, example up here. So you click on them and just copy the code. There's the color code, and there you go. Voila. Uh, there's also some settings over here. Um, where if you want only high contrast, you can have high contrast. If you want like bright and light, like if, the, if you're working with a, a project in which you know the, van, the the branding, you wanna have something that's bright or on the lighter side, uh, you could just choose that. Or if you wanna use like a pastel color scheme, which is quite popular these days as well. So if we choose pastel and hit generate, it's only gonna give us these sort of pastel sort of uh, color schemes. You can, set, you can see that they're not high contrast. Pastel are basically colors where a lot of the hue saturation has been taken away from it and maybe toned a little bit. Uh, and they're you typically on the lighter side as well. Like this one's really cool. Uh, very good contrast still, but it's not maximum contrast. And of course, if you wanted maximum contrast, you would just choose high contrast. Uh, what is, I? Uh, well, let's see dark for instance. So let's gener generate dark ones. Yeah, so you can see these are all on the darker side. All right, very cool. Um, also, there is a illustration section, and these are just illust it's, it's illustrations on the context of UI and only changing the colors that are associated with the illustration and the primary elements of the UI itself, like the call to action and some of the text. So for instance, if we click generate, we'll see just different colors um, that are affected primarily just on the illustrations themselves and the uh, the text. And of course, if you scroll down, it's gonna show you different layouts as well. So illustration two, and of course, and illustration three, you have all these uh, options to choose from. Um, there's also a bootstrap section over here um, where it'll automatically, I believe, just give you the color, uh, the, the, the properties um, essentially. So if we hit generate, it's just gonna show you a preview, and then here's all are all of the the, the variables that are set associated with uh, a Bootstrap pro project. Finally, you can upload an image just to get. Uh, there's a bunch of these already out there, just to get the uh, um, the colors that are associated with the image itself. So if I click this, this is a YouTube thumbnail. Um, yeah, it, it'll, you can reduce the number of colors, to probably just to the ones that are found the most or you can have all the way up to 10 colors. Like if you really like a, a certain photograph and you're like, I wanna have a, uh, a website theme that's kind of feels and matches the tone and the mood based on the colors in the photograph, you can use this section as well. So overall, I think this tool is really excellent and probably the most well-executed tool for this purpose. All right, everybody, I'm really excited about this tool because I do think, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is something that I will personally start to use whenever I'm trying to come up with different color scheme ideas for myself in my own projects. Now, as always, make sure to subscribe, check out designcourse.com, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.